A winter storm may be developing across Acadiana as we head through the latter part of the week. Very cold conditions are in place, and it looks like that cold air is going to stick around through Friday. And with the developing upper-level low coming out of the Four corner states, that could throw some precip in our direction, and some of that could be in the form of freezing rain. Now, first for tonight, it'll be quiet out there, but temperatures will be quite cold. In fact, we have hard freeze and freeze warnings across all of Acadiana for the overnight hours. Of course, there's plenty of snow cover already across the majority of the nation. So all that cold Canadian air as it spills southward continues to roll over that good snowpack. So it doesn't have a whole lot of chance to modify or warm up before it gets to Acadiana. And therefore, temperatures today are going to have a hard time getting out of the 40s. Also, we have some high, thin cirrus clouds that have been streaming across the area, and that may insulate us a bit from the sun's energy. So with the combination of the movement of the cold air coming southward and a little bit of a block from the sun, that will also keep our temperatures quite cool. So by midday, we should be in the upper 30s, and hopefully we'll climb into the low 40s for a while this afternoon. Skies will remain cloudy overnight tonight with temperatures across most areas dropping to at least the freezing point, even 20s, generally north of I-10. Then tomorrow, things get interesting as some rain starts to develop, and that could be mixed with sleet at times. But with temperatures still above freezing, any sleet or uh, snow that may fall will melt on contact. So we're not expecting any travel problems tomorrow. But by tomorrow evening, as the temperatures come down, that's when we could see some problems with some icy conditions. Here's the upper level low. That'll cruise out of the four corner states, digging southward, dragging up quite a bit of tropical moisture, and that warm, moist air will rise up and over the cold air that's in place. So the precip will come down in the liquid form, but if our temperatures on the ground are below 32 degrees, it will freeze on contact. And that's when you get an ice storm, and that could be an issue, especially for the northwestern sections of Acadiana. Snow well to the west, southeastern parts of Acadiana could stay above freezing and, stay, and just see all rain. So as we try to forecast the type of precipitation, we talk about that warm layer, and if the warm layer is relatively thick, then the rain is, or the snow possibly will come down and melt here in the warm layer. But then once it gets to the ground where temperatures are 32 degrees, it doesn't have enough time to refreeze. So it just freezes when it con makes contact with cars or bridges or overpasses or trees or anything that has a temperature below 32. Now, when we're talking more about uh, sleep, that is when we see the shallower warm layer, but temperatures are below 32, a little bit deeper, closer to the surface. So as the precip comes down, it does melt in the warm layer, but it has a chance to refreeze once it gets here, and the raindrops will freeze into ice pellets and sleet, and that's when you get that form of precipitation. So here's the setup. As we look at Thursday noon, could see some rain mixed with sleet at times moving across Acadiana, but we do expect temperatures to be above freezing. So any frozen precip that falls will melt on contact. So no travel problems through midday. 5 o'clock drive, and after the sun comes down, that rain and freezing rain and sleet will be developing, especially as temperatures drop below the 32-degree mark over the northwestern sections. And the dividing line, unfortunately, is going right through Lafayette. Freezing rain likely as we head through the overnight and early morning hours with rain likely southeast of Lafayette. We'll go back and forth between freezing rain and rain for a while and then back to some sleet into Friday evening. Then everything will clear out of here Friday night and into Saturday with cold conditions settling on in. So depending on where you live is where you'll see the uh, different precip. Let's go with the northwestern sections, Allen, Evangeline, St. Landry, Jeff Davis, Acadia, and Lafayette parishes. Tomorrow, it'll be cloudy and cold during the morning. Temps in the upper 20s. Could see a little rain mixed with sleet by midday, but temperatures by then will be above freezing, so everything melting on contact. Then as the temperature dips below 32, freezing rain will be developing, and that's when we could see some accumulation on bridges and overpasses and possibly on trees and power lines. But freezing rain will be likely with ice accumulations possible. A rain, sleet, snow mix around midday as temperatures hover around freezing, and then the wintry mix will be ending as we head into Friday evening. Now, the southeastern sections, including Vermilion, Iberia, St. Martin, and St. Mary, will see some light drizzle tomorrow morning, mixed with sleet at times, but temps above freezing. Everything changing over to rain by midday, and still a rain, sleet mix, but temperatures during the evening will stay just above the freezing point, so no accumulations are going to be possible there. Rain, sleet during the early morning hours Friday, no accumulation with temperatures just above freezing. All rain by midday with some heavy downpours possible. 
And then rain mixed with sleet at times. After the precip ends, temperatures will dip below the 32 degree mark around midnight. So for today, we're looking at uh, partly sunny skies, those high thin clouds out there, temps around 43. Cloudy tonight as we drop back to 28 degrees here in Lafayette. Tomorrow we'll see rain developing. We could see some mixed with sleet during the morning, but temperatures will be above freezing. North winds about 15 miles per hour. Then as the temps drop, we could see freezing rain Thursday night into Friday morning, changing back over to all rain by Friday afternoon. Temperatures will climb back into the 50s and 60s over the weekend with partly cloudy skies expected. Some thunderstorms likely as we head into the early part of the week. So that's the setup for now. Things could be changing. Whether or not we'll see freezing rain over all areas or maybe just rain over all areas, that line is going to be switching back and forth. So keep it tuned to KATC for the latest. And, of course, you can check our Facebook page and KATC.com. I'm meteorologist Dave Baker in the Storm Team 3 Weather Lab. That's the latest look at your weather forecast.